Hi, friends. So I have something to tell you. I'm moving college. So I decided that Exeter was getting too boring for me, and I'm going to guess where? Trinity. Just kidding. I love Exeter too much to leave. I'm just going to move to Trinity for a while to volunteer for Oxford Summer School. So before this, we were at the Porter's Lodge where I checked in, and then there's this little gate that you walk through before you get into the main quad. It's actually so exciting because it's my first time here and I've never actually been inside Trinity College before. I think there's a wedding going on today. So we walk through this archway and then we end up in the Durham Quadrangle. And on the day that I arrived, there was a sort of event, I think it was a wedding going on. And that's why there were so many people there. <laughs> and if we just walk past this narrow walkway, We'll end up in the garden called Drangle. By the time I'm here, I already know that Trinity is much bigger than Exeter. And then we just have to keep walking, trying to find the staircase that I'm supposed to be at. So we go through this door. There's a code that I have to press and enter. And this is staircase 14, so I'm supposed to be at staircase 18, which is supposed to be beyond this staircase. Yep, so we have to get out of this staircase in order to try and find staircase 18. So by this point I was getting a bit confused, because the person at the plot had shown me the map, but I was just not knowing where is staircase 18 is really not obvious so i just turned around and just was walking around trying to find it so in the process i kind of ended up at the back gate or the side gate is this the right staircase And then I went in here, thinking it might be the correct place, but I realized that it's not. Guess what it is. Yep, you might have seen it on the sign. It's the gym. Wow, they have such a big gym. They have such a nice gym. Okay, fine. So I'm still lost and out I go again trying to find it. And I end up back at the same place without realizing where I am. This is staircase 14, obviously, not 18. But I thought maybe this is 18, you know, maybe I was wrong in the first time. So I actually climbed up the stairs, thinking I might find my room. But unfortunately, no, this isn't the right place. Okay, it's too slow. Let's pretend I ran up the stairs. Let's go. Oops, my room's not there. Oh, is it here? <gasps> yeah, I think I finally found it. So again, there's a code that you have to press before you can get in the door. Which is kind of good for security, I guess. And up I go, up the stairs. Should I show you the real thing, or should I pretend I ran up again? I 
I was secretly hoping it might be here. But there's one more flight of stairs. And my room is at the top of the stairs. just struggling to open the door because I thought the key would be like normal like if I turn it and then I can just open the door with one hand but I didn't realize you have to hold the key in position and use your other hand to turn the knob and to open the door so that took me quite a while to figure out Ooh, are you ready This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Trinity College room. It's nice, I really like it. It's slightly bigger than my room back in Exeter College. It's also just got a sink, a bed, some shelves, a desk, two chairs. It's not ensuite. But they do have a mini fridge. Wow. And if you walk back towards the door, that's the wardrobe. Let's see what's the view like from my window. Ooh, that's not too bad. Kind of looks back on where I came from. Map of Trinity College. Should we go and explore? With the room tour done, we're now going to explore Trinity College. I'm just going to walk around and see what I can find. This is me doing an awkward and unnecessary selfie with the room just to prove that I was here. So first I went back to Durham Quad because I wanted to see the dining hall, which is just there at the side. And this is their dining hall. Wow. Well, it looks like that because they've just done a wedding, but normally they don't have the white cloth and everything. Normally it's just plain wooden tables. So this is staircase 18 where I'll be staying. Now I'm just going to have a little walk around. Um, I met some of the other volunteers doing the summer school, which is really nice. Just hoping that I'll get to know them as the weeks go on. If we keep walking and don't go by the way we came in, we'll end up in the gardens. So this back walkway is kind of leading towards the gardens. Let's start running again. Oh, this place is really pretty. Did you see that squirrel? And that over there is the laundry room. And if we just keep walking past this gate, we're back at the front quad. And those are staircases 5, 6 and 7 on the left, I think. And this is just the front of the college. Here I'm just walking one round around the front quad and getting back to the main entrance. If 
I've arrived back at the gate. I wonder what's this place? And this is something I didn't see when I was coming in. It's by the side and it's a secret garden known as the Fellows Garden, which is out of bounds to students. And here is another place that's tucked away at the side of the front quad, which leads to staircases 1, 2, 3 and 4, if I'm not wrong. This is definitely bigger than my college. So there's some staircases here. So according to my map, the library is supposed to be here but I had a hard time finding it and I couldn't find the entrance because they were doing some construction work so I decided to end my tour here and go back to my room That's all for this Trinity College tour, I hope you liked it I hope you got to see a bit more of a different Oxford College finally and hopefully next year I'll be able to visit the other colleges and show them to you as well. Thank you for watching, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!